Look Hi, Christina. Congratulations. Corinne says congratulations. Hi, Corinne. I want hugs. I cheered really loudly from the... I left, I left the commentary booth and leaned over the banister to yell at you from the gorgeous Bruco as you and Rich She wants you to know it. that she left the commentary booth in Gorgeous and leaned outside the window to I scream for you. Oh, you! she blew you a kiss, Corinne. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved so it, it should be, yeah, we'll just be transparent for all the viewers <laughs> at home. I crewed Christina. We are friends in Seattle. Uh, Corinne also uh, is staying at the house with us. She was sort of... Um, uh, like crew removed, crew from from the commentary booth. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all buds. So anyway, ten fifty-seven and change. You did it, buddy. Nice. Okay, okay. Anyway, without further ado, Christina Randrup. Congratulations on your podium finish at the Gord Waterfalls 100K. How are you feeling? I'm tired and hungry, but I'm really, really happy. Can you walk us through your day? Um, there was a lot of leapfrogging going on in the women's field. You went from um, second back uh, probably to like fourth or fifth and then back up. So walk us through. Yeah. Did you have a strategy? What were you doing? I wanted to start... I just I wanted to feel good as good as you can for as long as possible um so I went out and just kind of like tried to cruise the first 50k and like if I felt good push a little bit but not like stress too much about place I ran with Lottie for a long time and we were sitting in third and fourth and then I kind of put a little bit of a gap on her right before Multnomah and then I that climb up Multnomah I caught up to Andrea and then she like plus bombed a downhill um, and then I was sitting in third for a while until leaving Lakina um, I passed her and was ahead of her but then I had to go pee so then she ended up ahead of me for a while and then Lottie passed us at some point and moved into second oh Lottie passed us um that first waterfall when you're when you're on your way out, yeah. she passed us right there. Or she passed me and then she passed Andrea. And then I caught Andrea I mean, short, Tara's like year, but five miles before cut us off Wyeth, at four, and then we were running like together FYI. down Wyeth. And then so on the way minute. back, I had Andrea in my sights. And then all of a sudden, like, I didn't see her. And then all of a sudden, and, and then I found out I was in third. Um, I, I assumed she was, like, way ahead of me. But I then I somehow, like, got ahead of her. Um, and then once I knew I was in third, I was like, okay, I need to, like, push and stay in third. Yeah. So I was kind of toggling between second and third. But I was, or second and fourth. But I was, in like, sitting in fourth most of the day with sights on third. Nice. Well, you pulled it off. So excited for you. Unfortunately, we are going to get timed out here. We've got about 30 seconds left. So the question everyone wants to know, you made some interesting nutrition choices. First is Dr. Pepper, which is okay, diabolical. A <laughs> race. They the store didn't have, they only had like two liters of, of Coca-Cola. Okay. So there was no Coke. That's, that's the reason. And the second question is why the heck did you not drink anything? Everyone was so worried about you. Well, the real answer is my period started yesterday, so I had really bad cramps the entire first half of the race, um, and that made me really bad at eating and drinking for the first 50k. That's the that's the plain answer. Got it. But she still pulled it off, and yeah, you made it back in one piece. Mostly there there was some blood. She was the bloodiest finisher so far, but um, yeah. Georgia had blood down her leg. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, Christina, congratulations. Congratulations. So proud of you. And, I'll give you a hug in a sec. Yeah, I think we're signing off here.